ราไปอยู่ตรงไหนนั่นรอเลยโอ้งโอ้งที่มันข้างหน้าเนี่ย What is going to make you a faster marathon runner? Is it focusing on the shorter distances like 5k, 10k, building that speed and getting the most of your body there, or is it jumping to marathon and gradually getting quicker over the time with experience and knowing what the distance feels like? I got this great question in the comments below. Ran a 1:28 half marathon today during a training session. First time going sub 90, which I have been training for all summer. Fastest 5k time is 20 minutes and 4 seconds, and 41:20 in the 10k. Though I haven't given much love to these shorter distances, my goal is to run a sub three-hour marathon at some point next year. Is it feasible to go straight for marathon training, or should I focus on improving my 5k and 10k times? So, 5k in 20 minutes, 41 minutes for 10k without giving them much love. He's done a half marathon in training in one hour 28, and now he's wondering, does he jump into marathon training, or does he go back and get faster at the 5K, 10K, half marathon, give interval training and tempo runs more attention so that when he starts the marathon block, he's gonna be a better prepared athlete to go even faster than sub three. For me, there's an optimal route to running towards your potential for the marathon and to jump into marathon training from where you are right now at one hour 28 shouldn't be too difficult within three months 13 week dedicated training plan to run sub three hour marathon especially if you're tapping a lot more into specific long runs and going faster in your interval sessions and everything is geared towards holding that 415 pace per kilometer for each kilometer for the marathon shouldn't be that much of a jump to jump into sub three marathon training now. And especially if you're kind of thinking, okay, September, October, by the time it gets to spring next year in a European or American marathon, that's what I'm gonna do. You've got plenty of time with six to seven months. If you wanna go at this optimally, and try to reach towards your potential. And it might take three to five years, but in the medium or short term, I would go back, focus on getting your 5K time lower. Focus then on getting your 10K, so you're gradually moving up in distance, but you're hitting those optimally, and you're giving them the attention they deserve. That's gonna result in a much faster half marathon time. And if you're just I think you're scratching the surface with 128, then if you start to put the specific training sessions in place, specific long runs geared towards half marathon and initially 5K, 10K, then you're doing the intervals geared towards 5K, 10K and then half marathon. What does that look like if you put together a specific block which gets you first ready for 5K, 10K, to much more faster stuff and moving over the ground faster and running shorter reps then for half marathon, so that's two blocks of maybe six months, and then you start your, half, your marathon training around spring, summer next year with an idea to run September, October, November, next year a faster marathon. Then you're looking at a completely different athlete, and you're not just trying to dip under three hours for the marathon. What you're probably trying to do is run under 250 or run under 245. And then that takes you from a lot of people who are running sub three, relatively, to a very, very small, a much smaller number that are able to run under 250. Because the round number of three hours, everyone wants to just dip under to join that sub three hour marathon club that everyone talks about. Whereas if you try to maximize your potential, are you capable of holding four minutes per kilometer for the full marathon? You can currently hold it without giving it so much love for 5K. You can almost hold it without giving it so much for 10K. Why would it not be possible to input the training, make that then four minutes per kilometer for a half marathon, and then start the block for marathon training, and that be your target for the marathon. So you're aiming at 248 or just under 250 for the marathon. Wouldn't that be a more exciting period of 12 to 18 months? I think yes. And that's exactly how I attacked my training when I started. I just had this crazy idea that if I can do already a 5K in 20 minutes, then I can hold that for 100K 
it's just a matter of training my endurance, training my stamina. So once you're, once I was building that time of four minutes per kilometer, because I'm doing all my long runs dedicated towards with, with 100K in mind, then all of a sudden, how easy does it become to run 10% faster and do a marathon in 10% faster than what I'm trying to do 100K in? That was my mentality. And so that happened. And then all of a sudden I'm running 237 for the marathon. And then it seems even easier to hold for 100K just four minutes per kilometer. And then naturally, because you're also tapping into that speed and speed endurance, your 5K and 10K times come down. Really, really important that the whole picture looks good. But to be honest, I neglected my 5K and 10K times to focus on the longer distances. So to summarize, you will be successful if you go for marathon training right now and you'll get under sub three. What does that actually mean to you? Figure that out. If you wanna go optimally, and you wanna improve your 5K and 10K in times, that's gonna be fun. And you're gonna enjoy that training and it's gonna be specific to 5K, 10K, and you're going to be able to race them more often, which means you're gonna be able to see more progress on a regular basis. That's gonna feed nicely into the half marathon training that you then do and you set yourself up as a different athlete. And then if you can get to sort of 120, 124, you know it's pretty comfortable for you to hold four minutes per kilometer, then that should put you in a confident place to be able to run the marathon in exactly the same pace with a dedicated 13 week block towards marathon training. And that for me is a great 12 months.